Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Watch. Good to see you all again, and look what has finally made its way to the channel. That's right, I finally picked up a Moon Swatch, and none other than the Mission on Earth Moon Swatch. This watch really has been so hard to get, but you know, it is finally in my possession. So let's go ahead and share my full impressions of this watch. Let's have some coffee and take a look. So yes, I'm super late to this unboxing. And of course, this was a watch that I was really looking forward to a couple months back. I was even waiting in line, folks, for this Moon Swatch, but was unable to pick it up. I then tried for months to try to get this through third-party sites like Carousel here in Hong Kong. Got so many of my offers just decline. I was pretty dead set that I only wanted to pay around 2,500 Hong Kong dollars for this watch, but no one ever agreed to it. Then the other day I was near the Swatch store in Causeway Bay and I went in and I asked once again for the hundredth time if there was any stock of Moon Swatch. This time it was kind of different though. The actual salesperson told me that they didn't have stock at the moment, but that they would have it very soon. And something in his tone made me think that if I came the next day, that there may be stock, and I was right. And I managed to pick up the exact color version that I wanted. This is the Moon Swatch Mission on Earth. And as you can see, all of the Moon Swatches come in this type of packaging, where they show you details about the planet itself. As we know, Earth, average temperature is around 15 degrees, tectonic activity, home to rare earth metals, has liquid water, and I do like the presentation here. The only planet with life and bioceramic. Of course, there's a bunch of other moon swatches that before this became such a difficult release to get, I was really looking forward to picking up a number of these. But ultimately right now, I've gone with the version that I was most interested in. Why? Because it is a green case, and this bioceramic case definitely does feel pretty plasticky, but I will say it does have this kind of hard sheen to it that I do appreciate. And having been a speedy owner myself, this proportion is exactly the same as my Omega Speedmaster previously. Here is the mission to Earth, and you can see there's one thing you may notice already, and a lot of questions people have asked, is this Hesalite, this kind of crystal, or is it plastic? This is totally plastic, guys. And in fact, when I picked this watch up new, it actually came scratched out of the box, no joke and you can kind of see it there on the side. It still has a few scratches, but the good news is that Polywatch does work on buffing out the scratches of your Moon Swatch. And I was able to do that actually with this watch. It was not even that difficult. And now barring just slight maybe scratches here on the very edge, you can see it is pretty much looking as good as new. So that's a real positive. Now in terms of the build quality, yes, it is super light. I think it's under 40 grams at this weighs. So, you know, you definitely, will tell the difference between this and any other standard watch, even a G-Shock, and I did pick up recently the Rubik's Cube GA2100 G-Shock. Even this feels a bit more hefty than the Moon Swatch. But besides that, all the design elements of this Moon Swatch are terrific, and I really do feel like I'm getting some taste of the Moon Watch. Not exactly the same thing. It's almost like a lightweight homage version of the Moon Watch, but you still have functionalities like the chronograph. Yes, it's a quartz movement, and this is still functional for timing, you know, your eggs or your coffee. And once you're done, you can reset it just like a traditional moon watch and it will go back to zero. I also got very lucky with the alignment of mine. It's a little bit off, but overall the alignment is really good on this version of the mission to earth. The rest of the watch is pretty standard. As you can see, we have the mission on earth sticker here on the back and I haven't noticed any kind of color bleed on my wrist in the time I've been wearing it so far. But let's talk about it, this strap, yes, it is not the best quality strap. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on my wrist so you can see what that's like. And here you can, and here you can see the moon swatch on my seven and three quarter inch wrist. It does fit very nicely, just like the regular moon watch. And that's why I really love the form factor of this watch. It does give you that very similar feel. But yes, the strap itself is not very good quality. I do like the, coloring here, but you can almost see the blue is starting to go into Mission on Earth here. The S is getting a little blued out. I don't think this strap is gonna last very long. Hopefully they do have replacement straps, but you can also just go ahead and throw this on a NATO and it will actually, I think, go very well with that. I'm gonna try to wear it on this strap for now, but there you can see it. 
yeah, the strap is really not very good quality. But all in all folks, I'm really happy to finally have picked this one up. It definitely isn't a moon watch and I can already tell it is visually appealing, but once it comes to the build quality and the materials, it really is something different. But if anything, I think this is giving a good glimpse into the world of the moon watch for a lot of people who would never have considered it. Now here's the question though, would you and should you pay above retail for this watch? Absolutely not. Maybe if you can get it for 2,500 Hong Kong dollars, maybe even 3,000. But if you're paying five, 6,000, or we're talking about seven, 800, even a thousand US dollars for these moon swatches, don't do it. It's an absolute waste of money. And I really do think something like this G-Shock GA2100 with G-Shock protection, 200 meters water resistance, it is a really cool watch. And it comes with an additional case and it costs quite a bit less than this moon swatch. I think you're getting a lot more watch in this G-Shock than this moon swatch. But either way, folks, I'm happy to have this mission on earth finally in the collection. I I can finally put to rest this moon swatch search for myself and of course hit me up in the comments guys if you have a moon swatch for yourself did you pick up this mission on earth or did you pick up one of the other planets hit me up in the comments i'd love to hear about it and that's it for this video if you liked it give me that thumbs up and if you love the content of frankie watch subscribe to the channel hit that bell icon for future updates one last thing i wanted to do guys was loom this up and show you yes there is a bit of loom there it's not very dramatic on the hands it's definitely better than on the markers but yes you do get some loom on this watch and there's the moon swatch folks very excited to have this one in the collection once and for all so that's it and frankie watch says time's up have a good one the search is over, and this is the last moon swatch I'm getting. Or is it? <laughs>